All right, fam. So today is a little bit different. Gonna run a couple different errands. I'm chilling with the homie Tate over here. He's uh, holding it down for me, so I appreciate that. Part of what I want to do today is a new segment that I'm gonna try out. I call it fast food. Where we go to a little dope spot, uh, or supposed dope spot. Uh, go check it out and see what the food's like. So let's get into that real quick. Uh, today we're gonna do a place called Chopped and Slice, which is a barbecue joint. Uh, I've been to the food truck. The food truck is awesome. But I want to go sit down and eat at the restaurant because obviously the food truck's not there today. It's not First Friday Art Trail. But I want to I want to get some different barbecue. And I know this is going to sound crazy, but I am not a fan of Evie Mays. That's like the hot thing that everybody here loves. People love Evie Mays. And I, I probably sound like I'm spitting blasphemous stuff, but I promise you Evie Mays is not all that to me. It's kind of gross. It's actually super gross, I'm going to be honest with you. I'd probably give it a 2 out of 10. I wouldn't waste my money on it. This one's for you. This one's for you. I think I made it. The barbecue spot was nice. Uh, the food was actually pretty decent. It was actually relatively good. I'd probably give it a soft seven. Good food. Service was whack. It was not a good experience. I mean, I'll be straight up about it. Granted, this spot is actually, I found this spot from the First Friday Art Show. They have a food truck out there. And so the experience is totally different, right? The experience when you go to a food truck, you put your order in, you walk to the side, you wait for your food, you get your food, and then you go. That's it, right? So the food is all that I have to base it on. And the food is awesome. It's, it's good enough to go back. But the waitress that we had, I'll let Tate John spill it for you. All right, so when I go to restaurants, rather it's either a fast food restaurant or if it's an actual restaurant, service is a huge deal to me. That's how I decide how much I'm going to tip you. Hate to say it that way, but if you have terrible service, you ain't getting nothing. If you have great service, I almost tip the bill. I've done that before. So, first we go in, nobody greets us. We're like, you know, do we sit ourselves? So we pretty much have to walk to our own table. Get to the table, dirty, has to be clean. <laughs> then, ask us what we want to drink. He gets water, I get a Coke. I drink it flat go up there like hey can i change this for dr pepper and because the coke's flat so then she's like oh well all of them are going to be flat because it's low on carbonation and i'm like why didn't you tell me that whenever i ordered but service horrible i'm never going to go there again just because the service was horrible but that's my spill on what do you think about the actual food actual food a soft seven Yeah, so I'm gonna be honest. I mean, I'm a dad, I'm balling on the budget. I have full custody of my son, so we out here. But one of the things I always wanna tell my audience is like, yo, you can find dope stuff no matter where it's at. And one of the places that I come to is Ross. Now, when you go to buy shoes, of course, they're not gonna have the box or anything like that, so you'll, you'll never be able to shoot an unboxing. But every once in a while, you'll catch some gems. Those Nike Air Speed Turfs that I got, I got them here. And they were like 50 bucks. So real hard to mess up. Super dope for the price, well worth it. All right, so I personally wear size 13. So it's definitely ginormous hit or miss. Every once in a while, they'll come across something that's like, oh my God, that's amazing. But for, I'm gonna say, maybe like 75% of the time, you're not gonna find anything. But it's worth a look, because when you do find it, usually you'll find some gold. Man, I wish I had a little feet. Little foot, how much are those? It's a nine. <clears throat> it's a nine and a half, and they're thirty-eight bucks. Thirty-eight. I could probably. But if I had those. thirty-eight bucks, well, I mean, I have thirty-eight bucks. But if I was a nine and a half, I cop these all day. Yeah. It's a daily driver shoe. You know. That's what I need. I need a daily shoe. Daily driver shoes. You know what though? I, I know I said I didn't like that shoes, but these right here, these are kind of fire to me. If I was wearing, uh, maybe not. You know what those <laughs> kind of look like? What? I know it's a totally different shoe, but those kind of look like the. Uh, the Yeezy bottoms. Right, no, I got you. These are that early morning, I'm waking up and walking around the mall shoes. <laughs> That's what this is. This is that power walk with your grandma in the morning. I don't act like you ain't been power walking with your grandma in a pair of these joints. And these giants, these, these are these EQTs. Mm -hmm. You're not eight and a half though, right? Nah. What size are you? 10. You're 10? Yeah. Dang, bro. I'm telling you. You live in the 806 area, code, and you wear Eight and a half. This is a pickup worth picking up. 
Even the black ones. Yeah, but I like the black ones a lot more. Those are clean. Gary Vee does this thing called trash talk. This is Ross talk. So if you can cop it at Ross and then you can flip it, because trust me, there's a lot of stuff. Like this bag right here. I might just pick this up for myself. It's actually a really dope bag. Yeah, this is a uh, $30 all day. Yeah. Go for bag boy. I'm in there. That's a joint you want, for sure. Right, every once in a while you just kind of, you know, they put the stuff here so you can look at it and then just be tempted by it. I've never been tempted, but today, I saw this. Jin Jin. <laughs> gang gang. <laughs> Well, this is chewable ginger candy. I guess so. I didn't know I wanted this in my life. Just Put it back. <laughs> out the door. Oh, man. So, you didn't walk out empty handed. Nah, bro. Got the bag, secured the bag at Ross. You know what I'm saying? Spot number two. And it feels good in this one. My question is, is I don't know why they're not all set up the same. Right? It's like. All the Rosses are different, right? They're set up different. So they're like, same, same, but leave. <laughs> I forgot what that's from. But still same. All uh, right, shoe game. There you go. If you're, if you're feeling oh, patriotic. Snap. Bro, those are the Apollo Creed's, dog. If I was playing football this summer, I'd be in there. I bet somebody wants them joints. I bet if I looked them joints up on eBay right now, I'm paying high dollars for them joints. Hey. Let's see where I cut these joints. That's a real story. I didn't just make that up. That's this is a real thing. No, I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna do it like that. How are these here? I don't know. Who does it belong to though? Bro, who took these back? <laughs> who said no 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 they're good? Bro, even the Velcro is used though, dog. You gotta watch out, there's grenades like that, bro. That's a trap. Alright fam, so we actually had a pretty successful trip in my Ross Fines, as they would say. Uh, and we went to all three of them, and I say we scored, what, two out of three? The first one we got the, the Herschel bag, the second one we got the Project Rock bag, which I'll post a picture here. That bag is super dope, but that's not for me, that was for my uncle. Uh, and then the third one was a complete bust, but that's kind of the thing, right? It's like hit or miss. Like, I can't promise you that every time you go to Ross, you're going to find a gym, because I know that you won't. There have been several days where I've gone and found Jack at any of them, so... It's kind of one of those things where you just got to hit it up, man, and see what's available. All right, fam, so that was the very first episode of Ross Talks. I don't know how often I'll do that, but, you know, it was just something to kind of do. Me and Tay, we had the day off together, so we decided to go chill and look around. Let me know in the comments if you're feeling this type of vibe. If you want to see more of that, we can do more of that. Uh, or if you just want the lookbooks and the shoe reviews and the unboxings, we'll do that. But this vlog-type style... I want to know if you guys are feeling that. If you liked it, let me know. Leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys are feeling. Again, my name is Chris Vargas. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Hit that notification bell. This way you know when all the videos are dropping. And also, if you haven't picked up any summer merch, please do so. I want you looking fresh out there. Peace.